Good morning, sports fans. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday hump day. How are we doing? I hope you're well. Um, today is going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Uh, the reason I say that is I literally have calls every hour on the hour. And I don't know if I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Um, so, uh, what is going on? Well, Friday, I'm right day, and next Thursday, infusion day, and <laughs> so I have blood tests all Thursday. Apparently, they take 30 vials for this blood test. I'm logging into my, um, Outlook, so... I have something for you. Um, 30 vials of blood. They said it's the equivalent of doing half, half of a blood donation. What? My, dirt uh, my dermatologist, my neurologist is also referring me to a dermatologist. What for? I have no idea. I have, have you all ever been referred to a dermatologist by your OMS neurologist? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> That's a new one for me. She's really into other causes for MS. So that brings me segue into my next thing. So Healthline, you know how I have love Healthline. They did a special on understanding MS and causes. <laughs> so um, they were saying that there are causes that have been identified um, as to why you have MS, why I have MS. Immune system. Your immune system, it attacks you, right? It attacks your brain, attacks your spine, and it causes all sorts of havoc because uh, the immune system, like rats, they chew, chew, chew our wires, our myelin, and, you know, it interrupts the signals that go from one section to another section, and they're brain and our spine has to be real creative about how we maneuver around it like a pothole <laughs> in a road. We serve around it, but sometimes it's a big enough pothole that we can't maneuver around it. Genetics. I don't have anybody in my family that has MS. That's a common question I get though by other people. Does somebody else have MS in your family? No. I'm the only one. Yay, lucky me. <laughs> but if you have a close relative, you have a higher chance of having MS. Environment, this is a big one, vitamin D. It turns out a lot of people who live next to the equator, they're fine. The percentage of people having MS, and actually when I moved to Texas and I told people, oh, I was just diagnosed with MS, my friends from south of the border said, what is that? Because <laughs> not common. But I will tell you, I'm from Seattle. So a good portion of my life, I grew up with overcast skies, not so much sun. Summers were great. And when I moved to California, I was so excited because it was always sunny. <laughs> I was like, ooh, this is different. So people that live closer to, you know, areas where there's no sun. Infection. So, did you have a bacteria or a virus that caused this, that triggers your immune system to just go crazy, right? And one of, one of your cells took a picture. <laughs> To remember this is a virus but that picture was of you <laughs> so your body is fighting you all the time um what can trigger symptoms 
I think we all know this. If you have MS, you certainly do. But if you don't, you may not know. Stress. It's a big one. So that's why I'm kind of freaking out about today. <laughs> Calls every single hour. Smoking. Don't smoke. It's bad for you. Heat. Heat's a bad one. If I'm out in the sun too long, I turn into a pirate. What does that mean? <laughs> well, it's like I'm hobbling around on one leg because my right side goes crazy. I start dragging it. Um, medication. So if you interaction with your medication, it's bad. Lack of sleep. Who has lack of sleep? Me. Uh, infections like UTIs. Oh, I have UTIs all the time. So when your body, the blood, the temperature goes up by one degree, just one, your whole body will react to it. Um, and then that, that's pretty much it. So how do you treat it? Well, there's lots of miracle drugs that we take. I take Ogrevis. That is a disease modifying therapy. We also call it a DMT. I also had Jelenia for a little bit. Um, Jelenia didn't work for me. I felt worse. <laughs> I know some people that really think Jelenia is awesome. There's Thai Sabri. There's, there's all sorts of different ones. Different names that I can't remember. But uh, what's common and what everybody starts out on is steroids. <laughs> steroids make you feel better. Um, I like steroids. I do. My husband says, oh, are we gonna bro out? <laughs> Cause I get really aggressive on steroids. So that's it, that's what I have for you today. But hopefully it was enjoyable. Thanks Healthline, as always, good content. And I am gonna start my day. All of this is gonna get professional. <laughs> so we'll see you on the flip side. Have a good one, be well, eat well, sleep well, nap. If you didn't sleep well, exercise, PT, all of those things. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.